Blue, I'm uh, Junior Pettis from IMEC, is my colleague and uh, first captain of IMEC as well. What we um, demoing today is a new uh, EG headset, which is based on IMEC latest technology for low power and reliable EEG management. So you can see the uh, headset here. And uh, the main features of the headset is that it uses dry electrodes, it uses active electrodes at very low power consumption, and it also has the possibility to measure the contact of the I'll we'll show you how that works. Uh, the first characteristic of the headset is that the settling time is very fast. So when you put the headset on, you can see that the EG wave settles very fast. Again, is uh, ring the headset, and what you can see here on the screen is already is EEG. Uh, we're measuring four channels of EEG at the moment, which are four different um, signals showing his brain activity at different places on this system. So you see here the brain activity. Of course, the brain activity is difficult to uh, interpret, but um, if we ask Hurricane uh, to close his eyes, it will relax, and we can then detect the uh, wave correspondence to uh, relaxation. And if you look here around 10 hertz, you will see little bumps. You see it here, also here. You can see very nicely on the wave. Also. This is a 10 hertz uh, wave which corresponds to relaxation and that we can detect with the, with the system. So one of the main features of the headset is that you can predict and all signals very fast. Another advantage is that you can also measure the uh, contact impedance of the signal. So if I switch this on, what you see in blue now is a real-time measurement of the contact impedance. And that gives an estimation of the quality of the contact. So if the, in this case all the electrodes are well connected, if one of the electrodes will become loose, for example, we can detect that on the uh, impedance chart. Another advantage of the headset that we didn't discuss is that it uses dry electrodes. So it doesn't require to do uh, the gel setup that you need in a typical hospital and that also facilitates the use of the uh, headset. In terms of applications, this type of technology could be used uh, anywhere from medical applications to a uh, more lifestyle application. In medical, you could think of epilepsy detection, for example. Uh, we could also foresee applications in e-learning for ADHD kids, for example. And in lifestyle, uh, things like neurofeedback, sleep monitoring, or perhaps even in the future, monitoring of emotions could be a possible application.